Yo, what's up, YouTube family? It's your boy Koozie back at you with another hot TikTok reaction video. Let's get right to it. Have you seen this new Disney movie? The movie follows a boy named Luca, an aquatic shape shifting being that shows his true form when in the presence of water. This is blatant predictive programming by Disney and Pixar. They are preparing us to accept these aquatic shapeshifters into our society. They have been on Earth for longer than humans have existed. Many different cultures from around the world depict fish gods that helped advance the human civilization. Hmm. A lot going on right now. The first symbol that I want to talk about is the headdress that the Pope or the Bishop of Rome wears. That symbol goes back at least 5,000 years. This strange and interesting headdress that the Pope wears is impacted by a, a god named Dagon. Dagon was a fish god. We have a god who's half fish and half man. So now we see the Pope's headdress, but when turned you then see he's actually wearing a fish head because he's representing the worship of an ancient Phoenician god. And that very powerful mystical god is still dominating the spirit and the intellectual thinking of religion even to today. Dagon, how many of y'all have heard of Dagon, the fish god? How many of y'all knew that about the Pope's hat? Let me know down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Back order estimated to ship August 13th. Oh, oh my God. What, what? 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 Look next to you. What? What happened? Look, come on, come on. Just come in. Just come in. Come in. Come in. Look, who's right there? Oh, Scary moment. South Korea has developed mind control. To be more specific, the world's first remote mind control technology. Yeah, so I'm over here learning TikTok dances, and in South Korea, they're developing mind control. It's something called Nano Mind Tech, and it allows scientists to wirely control brain regions using magnetic fields to control the brain with devices outside of the body. Researchers at Korea's Institute for Basic Science have developed the hardware for this mind control technology. Anyone have mind control on their 2024 bingo card? Anyone? Researcher Dr. Chon Jinwoo, who is the director of South Korea's Center for Nanomedicine, said he expects the new hardware to be used in a variety of ways. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's lots of uses for potential mind control. But let me just warn some people ahead of time. You want to go into this head, this brain, this mind? You might be going in happy, but you're not leaving that way. <laughs> there you have it. Mind control is coming soon. No matter how weird I think things have gotten, it just keeps escalating. Yeah. Okay, Vushkis, I just wanted to share that with you. Shabadoo! Yo, one, one thing. Think about when uh, Biden back a while back had that brain mal malfunction during his speech when he said the chips and then he said Korea. Mmm. Could that have something to do with it? That's all I want. I want to make your mind want a little bit, y'all. And are we Y'all are not ready for this one. So, a lot of deep sea creatures are red. But since the color blends in so well with the water, sometimes it looks dark blue or black. Now combine that with a horn-like crown, submerged home, and a trident. Poseidon is just another name for the devil. Now hear me out on this. What if humans are just misinterpreting an underground tavern of fire a boiling sea floor with hydrothermal vents and exposed magma. And I did some research. And this guy named Dante, he describes the ninth circle of hell 
a place where traders are crushed in a dark frozen lake. So that sounds like deep sea trenches or brine pools. Now think about this. Sailors used to call mermaids sea demons. Think about it. Now, I don't know what he has going on with that pillow, but he's definitely on the song. You let me know what you think about that in the comment section. And one more thing, y'all. Let's go ahead and address the elephant room. I've been gone for a while. It's only because I've been sick with a bad viral infection that I'm still trying to heal from now, man. I'm here recording now, even though I may look good to you. I'm doing very bad. But the bills don't stop, so I have to keep on going a little bit, you know. You know, reach out to some of y'all, my real supporters. Maybe y'all want to help me out and send some donations my way, man. I got three young kids, man, and I'm trying to get it, man. I have to take care of these bills, man. I'm the man of the house, y'all. Y'all know y'all out there, y'all understand that. So if y'all want to donate, you know, help me out, man, a little bit, y'all could donate to my cash out, Don Cousy, or y'all could donate to Apple Pay, whatever, you know, PayPal, Apple Pay is a uh, 107Cousy at iCloud.com, send whatever y'all want. Everything helps, it's gonna add up, man. I appreciate all of y'all, man, uh, cause I really need the support right now. I'm doing real bad right now, I'm feeling real bad right now. I got a doctor's appointment in the morning to go get another checkup, you know. This virus gonna take me four to six weeks to heal from. It's already been like a week and a half, y'all. It's, it's, it's bad on my chest, my breathing, and uh, everything right now, you know. So um, y'all please bear with me, you know, y'all. Please keep praying for me. Uh, I appreciate all that, all of it, all the love and support, y'all. It's your boy Poozie, man. I love all y'all. Mermaids are real. I told you a few days ago, I'm back to prove it. We'll come right back to that video of that mermaid that you just saw. So we have no doubt had mermaids all throughout our history. But remember when the fallen angels came down and made it with the women? And they were genetic hybrids all over the earth? So much to the point that God flooded it? Look at this right behind me. Why are these people wearing fish suits? You too? It's because it's Dagon, a fish mermaid god. And they would all wear fishes out forms for the god. That really existed. Think Little Mermaid. Now, here's Dagon, the fish god, and there's the Vatican hat. Guess what? Same thing. And deep into Egyptian lore, it talks about the fish people coming out of the water and beating the Egyptians in a battle. Now there's many kinds of mermaids, you know they're all documented? See its head? See its head? Dagon? Fish people. Exactly like this weird creature that popped up on the internet swimming through the ocean. Now back to this weird freaking thing, take a good look at it. Can you spot it? There you go. Mermaids were real and they are real because they won't die in a flood. It looked like some out of an alien horror movie. And y'all, don't forget, whatever y'all saying through YouTube, like Super Chats and all that, YouTube gets, they get most of that, you know, we don't, we don't get that. That's why I asked y'all to donate to the Cash App or Apple Pay or something like that, where I can get, where it really helps me, not YouTube, because, uh, and we don't see that to the end of the month, and it's, it's, it's horrible. Dude, the bills, so many- The bills don't stop, y'all know that, so the grind must go on, you know, as much as I can, but I, I definitely won't be able to record as much as I have been lately. There's no cure for this, there's no treatment, there's no medication, antibiotics, nothing. They said I just have to have rest and stay hydrated. <laughs> I know, what type of advice is that? Let's go, y'all. People are pulled over right now to look at that freaking moon. Look at, Why is it so close to the earth? Look at that. Look what at, is happening right now? That girl doesn't- Look, why is the moon so close Look to the Earth? <laughs> Crazy world. So y'all remember that Brazilian flight that just went down? We know some of the people that were on board. TikTok, I'm just reading the news. Eight sea doctors who dedicated their lives to saving others were among the 62 passengers. But there's more than just that. There were actually supposed to be 15 sea doctors on board that flight but seven of them canceled last minute for a different flight. As of right now, I don't know what kind of C-word studies that they were doing, but it said that their page is still up on Twitter right now. They have to be the most unlucky people in this world. And completely unrelated, did y'all know that when the Titanic was set to sail, that on board were a whole bunch of bankers who were opposed to the Federal Reserve? And also supposed to be on that same trip were a whole bunch of bankers that wanted the Federal Reserve, and they all happened to cancel the same day, even the same hour. 
Again, prayers for all the family and the people affected, and if I come across any other information, I will let you know. That's crazy. I know this kind of old video. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that. What's really going on right now for planes to be falling out the sky? It's like really some end times things right now, man. It's crazy. Biden is the actual satanic spirit. Greek mythology is false overall, but the spirits mentioned there, they're real. The early church fathers even touched on it. As you know, in Jesus' day, you had Greek and Roman mythology. And if you know God's pattern from scripture, he challenged false gods of the days. When he sent the 10 plagues to Egypt, he challenged the Egyptian false gods. This is why in the Bible, when Jesus was going to cast demons out of the man across the water, that's why a storm was sent to try to resist him. He rebuked the storm, it stopped, went over there, cast out demons. The demons wanted to go into pigs, and where did the pigs go into the water? This spirit would have been recognized as Poseidon in that day and age. You may say, well, yeah, but that's not mentioned in the Bible elsewhere. Yes, it is. You take a look at Dagon. Dagon was the false god of the Philistine, who was known as the fish god. The Bible even says that God will punish the serpent of the sea, Leviathan. Now the deadline's in like two days. My wife and I are doing a three-day class on marine spirits, how the enemy attacks you in your sleep, the different categories of spirits, and more. To join from YouTube, click the pinned comment. From TikTok, click that link right there in my bio. See you guys there and follow for more. Shout out to my guy, y'all show his channel some love. How many of you out there knew Poseidon was the fish god Dagon? Let me know down below in the comment section. Y'all heard about the Houston CEO that is currently finna go to court, go to trial, because he was watching his employees on their work cameras, on the webcam while they were at home. Yeah. <laughs> and then the kicker is all this started because he was being a nasty ass boss and he told his employees that they couldn't take fucking bathroom breaks. You telling grown people at an office they can't take fucking bathroom breaks. So you know what one of the girl did? She she's my level of petty. My level of petty. She took a motherfucking bike lock and locked him in his fucking office one morning. And she locked him in the office with the fucking bike lock because she was like, oh, he be going to the gym or whatever at like five o'clock in the morning and he liked to drink a gallon of water. So when she seen he was like halfway done with his gallon of water, she put that fucking bike lock on his door and let's, let's see how long you gonna hold it. Let's see how long it take for you to piss on yourself, sir, because that shit don't make no motherfucking sense. And honestly, you could tell he's a bad boss because... Everybody in the office went with it. Like, nobody was challenging her. Nobody tried to open the fucking door and let that nigga out. None of that. It's one person did try to let him out, but she had done flushed the fucking key to the bike lock down the toilet. So, call the fire department at this point. I don't know who you're going to call. But he, I think they said he ended up climbing through the ceiling. Like, he took one of the little tiles out and climbed through the ceiling to the other side. He go try to tell them, this is the family, guys. We shouldn't be doing this. And they was like, yeah, yeah kiss my ass anyway so that brought up this whole thing about how they found out he was using the fucking webcams to be watching his employees when they be working at home and shit and then he getting caught up because apparently in court they asking him questions just trying to see what the fuck going on because he's maintaining that he did nothing wrong he is saying that he did nothing wrong by watching them on their webcam so they ask him like okay well what happens when you're watching your employees and you know a female start to change clothes he's up to some oh well i just cover my eyes or i look away so they like well how do you know when they're done changing their clothes how do you know when they're dressed he said oh i'll be listening but when the clothes sound like it's not moving around no more when it sound like it stopped ruffling then i know they dress like what type of sense do that make what type of fucking sense do do that what are you looking at the, and you're only looking at women only looking at women even one girl her her husband trying to have a baby and they've been trying for a while and i guess they got pregnant or whatever and before she even announced it before she even said anything he told her Con congratulations on the pregnancy so i mean she looking like how the fuck you know like how you know? like i know for me when i got pregnant i did not announce my pregnancy until i was after 20 weeks because i've experienced miscarriage and it's that's very traumatic for a woman so how do you know she even wanted to say anything about that like that's fucked up and then the real kicker is like like fuck all the bullshit the real kicker is he wasn't watching them on their webcams during work hours he was always watching them after hours mm -hmm. what the fuck was you looking at sir like keep it above keep it a bean we know what he was looking at we know what he was looking at but just just and shout out to her for the 
for the story. Let me know what you think about that, though. What would you have done in that predicament? Would you have helped the boss out, or would you have been one of the ones that helped keep him locked up? Me, personally, I think he got what he deserved. Is that October the 9th, 2009, and I'm going to read you The Secret Covenant. I only have 10 minutes. It's on the Polly Hicks section of CanadaStreetNews.com, and this is dedicated to the Jesuits the High Freemasons and the High Knights of Columbus and those that have pledged a blood oath allegiance to the Luciferians, secret societies. The Secret Covenant. An illusion it will be so large, so vast, it will escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave, behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be to accomplish one drop at a time so as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of, the, of their experience, for we know the secrets of the absolute. We will work together always and will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak until pretending to do the while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so they will never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators, and sedatives in food and water, also in the air. They will be blanketed by poisons everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find a cure from many of our fronts, yet we will feed them more poison. The poisons will be absorbed through their skin and mouths and they will destroy their minds and reproductive systems. From all of this, their children will be born dead and we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them. Man, ain't that real? Like, ain't that like realistic, real life for right now? Which is crazy. I don't know. It's like, man, what can we do? We can't barely breathe. It's oxygen. It's poison. We can't drink the water. It's poison. We can't eat the food. It's poison. Everything we consume around here on this earth seems like it's poisonous for us now. That is crazy. And I know y'all, it's some of y'all who wonder, man, what did he have? What does he have? What is he sick with? What virus did he have? I don't have the Mexican beer virus. It starts with a C and ends with a VID in 19. I don't have that. And I don't have the flu i got tested twice two days in a row. matter of fact three days in a row for that because i was back and forth to the hospital because i couldn't figure out what was wrong to the er and finally i went to the doctor and uh got blood work and got my diagnosis back monday and it said i was positive for the ebv if you know ebv stands for epstein Barr virus i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have heard of it. if not you probably could do some research and find out how kind of serious it is but uh i never heard of it to this moment i thought it was something made up you know i'm usually pretty healthy most of the time never really had to go to the doctor and all that so this kind of hit me all of a sudden and it's kind of really affecting me right now so like i say y'all the real supporters i know y'all gonna support and uh bear with me y'all i appreciate it and keep praying for me y'all trying to shake back and get back like i was appreciate it the program is predictive if one knows what to look for. Mm, I'm telling you, man, the, the Simpsons is not a coincidence. Somebody else said that might be AI or something like that, but I just don't think so. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. If doctors couldn't handle anything, and here this little priest had come out of the woodwork and handled my lead poisoning like he did and some other health issues, and I went back to the doctors to tell them there was no interest. They weren't interested. That floored me. So I said to them, what else are you not telling us? And that meant I had to go back into history and find out where they'd made a mess of it. Mess of it. And as the further I got back in history through the 1800s, I began to realize that, look, you know, you compare a hospital today with all their fancy white uniforms and all their multi-millions of dollars of equipment, and what did they know back then? What were they doing? <laughs> Guessing? I started finding books, books that were published by doctors through the 1800s, books that they read and books that they learned from, and lo and behold, out of every single book were 
deworming programs, parasite programs. Our doctors in those days did autopsies, and they found parasites. And I looked at that, and I got a hold of doctors, and they said, no, we don't have parasites today. <laughs> so we started to search for parasite programs just to see what was going on, to see if maybe something was happening that we really didn't understand. So I did myself first. And lo and behold, I got eight and ten inch critters out of me. They were white. First of all, they were in a toilet water and they were all bunched up. Looked, I thought it was mucus. Until just for a curiosity, I threw some hot water in the toilet to warm it up and then went and gosh, they were, they strung out and they were swimming all over. We're now doing pictures in color out of clinics where you go potty on a special pot with a screen in it and they take pictures of the parasites that get out of you on these different deworming programs. A woman got 18 inch long critters out of her that were so thick she couldn't get them into a top of a juice bottle. They're usually translucent, they're usually white, and uh, there's some of them that look like tarantula spiders, some of them look like grasshoppers, mm -hmm. some of them look like uh, little tiny miniature sailboats, some of them look like little spacecraft. There, this is really strange stuff. I have never yet dewormed anyone where they didn't tell me, hey, I feel 25% better. I you got halitosis, you're, you're loaded, because that's worm urine and worm droppings that you're breathing out. So it's no wonder your breath's bad. When they pee, that's called ammonia. So just go to a doctor, have a blood test, and see what level of ammonia is in your blood. If you have ammonia in your blood, that's called worm urine. You get a headache. You got the headache because the worms are all peeing, trying to get you to eat something else. They're trying to make you sick so you'll get off of what you're doing and start eating. So you take some arginine and orthanine in a matter of 20 minutes. If the headache's gone, you're, you've neutralized the worm urine and you know that you're loaded. All children that have little tiny pimples on the backs of their arms or little tiny pimples here on the edges of their cheeks have five varieties of critters in them five varieties it's time to deworm and it's time to get them out man boy he said a mouthful let's deworm guys did you see the olympics ending ceremony probably not because like before they had major backlash and it's already off of youtube and comments turned off and everything look at this looks like a straight up demon right so it's yellow it looks kind of like a bee is it beezlebub is that who it is? Mm -hmm. That's what I think. This is literally some demonic stuff. And normal people will watch this and think it's fine. They're doing like voodoo dances. It's like they're chanting and worshipping. These are the same things you saw at the base of the pyramid a long time ago. And the end is the most cryptic part because you have what appears to be Beezlebub standing here. And watch what's going to happen. An angel rises up out the ground like the bottomless pit like Revelation 9-11, the Abyssos, without a head. Who is this angel? Is it Apollyon? Apollo? Abaddon? Yeah. So we had the people doing voodoo worshiping Beezbub, and now Beezbub stands right before a Lucifer. That's it. Like I always say, it ain't nothing a coincidence. Who do y'all really think that was? That was an ancient demon lord. Hey, why would they have this in the Olympics, man? Where well, they gonna have billions of people watching this, include kids. It's just something to make your mind wonder. Let me know what you think about that.
what is that skin of the sky? What are they skin of the sky for? And who is that skin in the sky? Because uh, that is crazy. I've never seen that before in my life. Let me know what you think that's going on. Let me know what you think that is down below in the comment section and what's really going on. Van in Russia have caught something strange on camera, showing we are sharing this world with non-human beings. This very strange video was recorded at a banquet hall during a private party in Russia. The party had been attended by supermodels, politicians, billionaires. Basically, some of the most rich and powerful people in Russia. Popular Russian musician Sergei Narov and his band Ruble were hired to play at the event. During the event, a short power outage happened at the banquet, and the lights quickly went out. This is what the band had seen. Ooh, hey, that's spooky. For some reason, most of the people who were in the hall began to shine light with their eyes. I swear the way those eyes are glowing it reminds you of the movie Roddy Roddy Piper, man. I mean not the movie Roddy Roddy Piper, the movie They Live Star Roddy Piper, man. Y'all I'm telling y'all this stuff has me physically, emotionally drained, man, and mentally drained at the time same time I'm just trying to fight, man. Like I say the the fight, good fight must go on and bills don't stop, man. So the show must continue. You know what I'm saying? Y'all appreciate the support and I appreciate y'all being with me. Let's get it. It's a crazy world we live in. y'all think about that and hey, y'all go share, show nightmare fuel some love to you know the channel uh that is crazy man i don't know what's going on with those celebrity eyes but uh, it's definitely something crazy going on over there man. all right so this is the antigua military and uh prince harry my mom's boyfriend when i was in college and up until a couple years ago when he passed away he had came here from Antigua. He would always tell stories about the military and whatever, and he was in the youth military. I can't remember what it's called, but they, they're basically the Queen's Army. And he said that they would take aborted fetuses, and they would keep them alive, and they would do experiments on them, and they would turn them into some kind of sea creature that the military could use and I just thought he was kind of crazy and maybe drunk and I did some research on it back then and I could find it but since they perched a bunch of stuff on Google I can't find it anymore Lore authors should know episode 10 Dagon the fish god not this guy this guy or better yet, this guy. Now I was trying to keep in with the spooky season for this month, but I just keep seeing so many videos that people are still upset over the whole Little Mermaid thing. Yes, I understand that the Little Mermaid was based in Europe. Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, but what I'm really getting sick and tired of is everybody trying to claim that mermaids are a European thing. Well, this is Dagon. 
He is an ancient Sumerian god. If you're wondering where ancient Sumeria is, that's modern day Iraq. And he was their top god. The priests used to worship him by wearing fish hats. Now, in both the pictures I showed, one, he is being depicted as he wears a robe that is made from a fish along with the hat, but he's also depicted having a fish-like tail. They even credited him for creating the very first plow. Dagon had two sons, Baal and Enlil. Baal was also a very loved god in ancient Sumeria. But eventually, him and Dagon got demoted to demons in Christianity. Dagon is even mentioned in the Old Testament of the Bible. The Sumerians were in a war with the Israelites, and it was a long, bloody battle. But eventually, the Sumerians won, and they thanked Dagon for it. In fact, as a sign of disrespect to the king that they had conquered, they took his armor and his head and tossed it into Dagon's temple at the feet of the statue, which was half human, half fish. The next time Dagon is actually mentioned in the Bible, this was when the Israelites happened to conquer the Sumerian. They put the Ark of the Covenant at the feet of Dagon's statue. When they returned the next day, the statue had fallen over. The Sumerians quickly picked it back up, but they never did remove the Ark of the Covenant. So the next day they found out that Dagon's statue had fallen again and his head and his hands had broken off. Therefore the Israelites thought that this was Yahweh's way of conquering Dagon. After that the Sumerians were taken over by the Persians and sadly Dagon was forgotten. And Dagon is actually in the history books spelled two different ways. D-A-G-O-N or D-A-G-A-N. And I was going to wait on this episode until after my book is published because this guy is actually a main character in my upcoming novel, Demon Rain. And I stick pretty damn close to the lore. In fact, his origin story is going to have a lot to do with those Bible stories. So let's start with a religion. How many of y'all remember Dagon from the Bible stories? We're talking about the Philistines. He was a, a false god of the Philistines uh, out the Bible. Just in case y'all didn't hear that or don't remember it, I had to, you know, get it to y'all. Just simple. Man, let me know what you think about that. If a lot of people just not going to believe that, man. But like I always say, they put it in the movies. Percy Jackson, huh? The lightning thief, who's his dad? Poseidon, yeah, what are they? Demigods, what was Poseidon? Uh, a uh, fallen angel, let's just, let's just keep it real. Poseidon was a fallen angel and Percy Jackson was a, a Nephilim, a, a hybrid. Yo, man, if y'all liking these videos, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, especially if you're new to the channel, and hit notifications for all, so that way you get my videos that I drop, my shorts that I drop, and my new post that I drop so y'all won't miss anything that I drop and if y'all want to learn how to do these videos and edit it like me you know what I'm saying even better than me man hit the link down below in the description hit my cap cut link so you get seven days free yeah I said seven days free trial with cap cut pro you can't beat it man I'm telling you and if y'all want some more information out here on how to go viral on youtube and do these youtube reaction videos like we do or like i do and like these other channels and be better than us hey go to my patreon sign up subscribe and hey i got a free course it's not a free course let me stop that i have a course for y'all check it out check it out if you really want to learn how to do this and go viral and get this money like this you're gonna go out there and you're going to pay for that course because free courses, I'm telling you, if they're giving it to you free, you're probably not going to, they, they're not giving you everything that you need to know to go viral and to be hot topics, you know what I'm saying? Hot topics out there like this on YouTube. So let's get it. The show must continue. These people actually encountered a shadow person and got it all on camera. Hey, Vente. Whoa. Something definitely went around her. You gotta get out. Wish them you're, demons you're away. You're gonna lock yourself in the laundry room again. You're not leaving. Bro, get out of there. You're house. not. Get out of there. Shut up. There's nothing in there that could have opened that door. Pennywise, are you down there? Don't talk to Shadow are people. You? Just don't. The Who fuck is that? Yeah, just 
get out of there. Run. Who are you saying good night to? Him. Who? Him, good night. Oh, God. Trevor, there's no one up there. Him up there. Show me. Him up there. What? Up there. I really don't think I'm ever going to be able to see this shit. Listen to me. Listen to that. Hell oh. no. Somebody in the... It definitely was somebody banging at that though. What's the enormous amount of destruction that we're now seeing by you guys? And I hope that the future for the Palestinian people is a new generation of Palestinian leaders who focus on allowing the people to have a state Could of their own. Be? We got a support of two state solution, improving the economy, rebuilding the economy. Uh, that's that's the long term goal. Senator, I have to ask you about some comments. Could it be, could it be, could it be? Is Bernie Sanders allegedly a reptilian or is it just the glasses? Let me know down below. But like I said, y'all, go get that course to go viral off my Patreon. I will put the link to the Patreon down below. Matter of fact, my Patreon is Koozie Reacts. Y'all go to my Patreon and buy that course, especially if you want to go viral and you want to do YouTube and make viral clips just like me and, other, and these other YouTube channels. But I'm telling you, most of the time, if the if the course is free hey the game the game is meant to be sold not told i'm telling you never forget that it's not gonna be good material like that that's all i'm gonna say it's your boy cruz i'm out i hope y'all enjoyed the video all love it's all love and all support it's good support y'all appreciate y'all keep keep me in y'all prayers and i'm out holla